Hi champ, welcome to another episode, in fact the second episode of Bloom with Frances. My title for today is New Year Resolutions Suck. So yes, I'm going to be telling you why those New Year Resolutions of yours suck and why you never get to keep them. As usual, I love stories, so I'm going to tell you made up stories. George was overweight obese actually and he needed to lose some weight the new year approached really fast and he made a new resolution this new year i will join a gym truthfully he did join a gym he went to the gym every day he'll sweat it out on the treadmill he'll lose some weight he would even go out and friends would offer him cake ice cream pizza fried chicken alcohol and all the things he loved but George turned everything down he look at those all those yummy treats I'm like no 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 one day in February it was a colleague's birthday at the office a red velvet cake was shared George had a thing for red velvet hmm it's red velvet a tiny slice won't kill me he ate the cake happy. Days later, his alarm rang to tell him, Gym time! George shut it off. I beg, this is how God made me, eh? I can't come and kill myself. Ah, my body is spinning me. What is all this, self? Let me sleep today. I'll go tomorrow. And well, that's how his attendance started dwindling. By April, he went no more. Because he would always go, I've, ah, I'm tired. I'll go next tomorrow. No, I'll go on Wednesday. And by the end of the year, his gym membership had ended. Then he made the same resolution for the approaching New Year. Julie was a shopaholic. The New Year came and she made a New Year resolution. This New Year, I will shop less and save more. People were shocked. She was keeping to it. Julie didn't buy a thing for weeks, in fact, months. One day in March, she passed by a beautiful pair of shoes calling her name in front of a store. She was like, hmm, I'll just go in and, you know, I'll just go in and um, sh- do some window shopping. I'm not going to buy anything. Julie went into the shop. She asked the shop attendant, um, how much is this? And the attendant told her 100,000 naira. She was like, definitely not going to buy it. That's a lot. She didn't say that, but she said it to herself. Then she was like, hmm, I'm just, let me just try it on. I'm not buying it anyways. I'll just try it on and see how I look in the mirror. She tried them on and she stood in front of the mirror and she admired those shoes were perfect. She turned from side to side, walked around. Perfect. She stood up to leave and she was like, Hmm. I haven't bought anything in months. Just once won't kill me. I'm going to stop after the shoe just this one time. Just this one time. Besides, I need this shoe. It will go well with anything I have in my wardrobe for this year. She paid for, that's how she convinced herself. She paid for the shoes and stepped out of the shop. As she walked down the street, she saw a purse in another shop that would go perfectly with those shoes. Then as she bought the purse, then she saw a dress that would go with the shoes and the purse. And as she bought the dress, she saw a pair of jewelry, you know, earrings and necklace. I will go with the shoes, the purse, and a dress. At the end of the year, well, <laughs> let's not stretch it too far. By the end of June, she had a whole new wardrobe of things. At the end of the year, she was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to keep to this year. This new year we're entering into now. I'm not going to buy things anymore. I'm going to save more and shop less. Well, your guess is as good as mine. The circle repeated itself. 
people just think that because it's a new year once you make a new year resolution it automatically happens like the new year is supposed to grant you a wish and make things happen for itself the truth is the new year has no power to make you do new things change old habits and all that when the euphoria of the new year fades so does a new year resolution if you want to make new changes or plans kill new old habits start new ones let the, that new year resolution be because you truly want to it's it, it's a personal conviction and a decision by you and not so instigated by the thought of a new year change comes from within and trust me you do not have to wait for a new year to make one happen so yeah new year resolutions suck because they are half-hearted on the spur resolutions that die in the first quarter of the new year make resolutions not new year resolutions make resolutions or rather making resolutions are not just enough what plans have you put in place to keep to those new year resolutions what steps what things have you written that are okay this is how i know i am going to keep to this new year resolution i'm not going to buy anything for this new year and these are the plans these are the steps i'm going to get rid of this debit card or credit card i'm going to do this i'm going to do that you've written them down and you're keeping to those plans oh okay i'm going to change this old habit of mine find ways to keep yourself accountable like you want to lose weight okay i know this friend of mine goes to the gym every day like it's a lifestyle so i'm going to be going with this friend of mine because i need someone to keep me accountable and make sure i go to the gym every day like drag my ass along to go to the gym every day or you find things new ways okay yeah i need to lose this certain amount of pounds or kg and if i i buy this you buy a new an outfit that is like three dresses lesser than your current size like yes i'm going to fit into this dress because my birthday is in is in march and this is the dress for my birthday you know make yourself accountable by putting it out there maybe on social media i'm going to wear this dress for my birthday i'm going to lose weight and fit into this you know you make yourself accountable somehow like now everybody's watching you or something find steps find ways to make yourself accountable write plans of how you're going to keep to that new year resolution and that's the only way that new year resolution won't suck because now it is not just a spur of the moment resolution it is a resolution that you've made plans you're making plans towards you've written down steps on how to change it and make it happen and now you're making holding yourself accountable and you're working towards it so yes champ that is how to make new year resolutions work like i won't like beginning of this year i told myself okay i'm not going to have any junk well on the second i went out and someone bought me junk and I had those. I told myself, okay, I'm going to start tomorrow. Let me just enjoy it today. <laughs> and that's how it starts. The next day, someone else brought me something else. So, yes, I had to write a plan. And now I'm keeping to it. So, yes, champ. Saying this is a new year resolution without any plan, without any way to check yourself, hold yourself accountable, it will never ever work. You need to hold yourself accountable somehow. And that's the only way that New Year resolution will happen. So champ, I hope my thoughts on this have been able to help you somehow. Do not forget that you're a champ. And I love you. But God loves you more. Till next time, this is Bloom with Francis. Bye champ. <laughs>